This video is to go over the different addition problem types to set up the number sentences or equations and then to see some strategies on how to solve them. Let's start with our first problem here. John has a collection of Star Wars toys. He collected 143 more this year. Now he has 167. How many toys did John have before this year? To set up our number sentence, we need to follow our story problem in order here. So, John has a collection of Star Wars toys. He collected 143 more this year. So, I do not know how many he started with. So, I'm going to use a variable to represent my unknown number, and I'm going to write J for John. He collected 143 more this year. More is your keyword, and it is telling us to add. So, he added to his collection 143 and he now has 167. How many toys did John have before this year? So here I'm trying to find what happened at the beginning. Now when we have, um, when we're trying to find what's at the beginning, we have to solve in, kind of go backwards, in opposite solving. So I'm starting with 167 and I'm going to need to take away what I first added in order to find what I started with because if I added 143 to get to 167, if I undo the 143 adding, then I'm left with what I began with. So, what I'm really doing is 167 minus 143. To do this, I am going to use the strategy arrow language to solve for my answer. So here, I am going to subtract my 100 first, and I'm left with 67. I'm going to subtract 40 for my next jump, which leaves me at 27. And then I'm going to subtract my final piece, which is 3, which leaves me at 24. So John started with 24 Star Wars toys before he added 143 this year, and now at the end he does have 167. For my second problem, let's read and see how it is a little different from the first edition problem that we looked at. Carly had 126 books. Her friend gave her some more. Now she has 184. How many did her friend give her? To write our number sentence or our equation, we need to first look at the beginning and work our way through the problem. Carly had 126 books. Her friend gave her some more. We don't know how many her friend gave her, so that is the information we're going to be finding. I'm going to use a variable C for the number we don't know yet. Now she has 184. How many did her friend give her? So now the information that I'm missing is in the middle. If you notice that the first problem that we did, the information that we were trying to find was at the beginning. So when we have a problem where we're missing information in the middle, one way that we can choose to solve it is by um, finding, count, starting from 126 and counting our way up to 184 to find the distance in between these two numbers. To use this, I am going, or to solve this, I am going to use a number line strategy. So for my number line, I'm starting at 126 and I have to make my way up until I end up at 184. My answer is going to lie in between here, in my distance here. Now in order to solve this, I'm going to start adding in pieces until I finally end up at 184. So for my first jump, let's see, how about I add 10. If I jump 10, I'm at 136 now. Still not up to 184, so I'm going to do a bigger jump this time. This time I'm going to add 20. That's 156. I'm getting closer. Let's see if I can add another 20. 176. Alright, now I'm getting pretty close. 176 to 184 is another 8. So I have jumped from 126 using my number line to 184. How much did I jump in total? 
Well, first I added 10, then I added 20, another 20, and finally an 8. How much did I add all together? 20, 40, 50, 8. So, Carly's friend gave her 58 books. Moving on to the third edition problem type, we have the problem, Dante had 358 baseball cards. He bought 124 more. How many does he have now? For our number sentence, follow the problem in order. Dante had 358 baseball cards. He bought 124 more. If he bought some more to add, to his collection, then we are adding 124 to 358. How many does he have now? So this is the usual type of addition problem that we see. It's fairly common. When you have two numbers that you are adding together to find an answer. Here I use the variable D to stand for how many cards Dante has. Now, there's many different strategies you can use to solve this. I am going to use a um, separating by place value in order to add these pieces together. So first I'm going to decompose my 358 into a 300, a 50, and an 8. 124 into a 100, a 20, and a 4. Then I'm going to add my pieces together. 300 plus 100 is 400. 50 plus 20 is 70, and 8 plus 4 is 12. Altogether, Dante has 482 baseball cards. This problem is different from the first two in that you are trying to find information at the end of your number sentence or equation. Here, the second problem type, we were finding information in the middle and at the first problem type, information at the beginning. Notice, depending on where the information is missing, depends on what type of strategy you're going to use to solve it, whether you're actually subtracting in order to solve, adding up, or simply just adding the numbers. Many times, students are so used to this type of problem that when it comes to these other problem types, it's a little bit more confusing. For our last problem type here, let's take a look at our story problem. Tyler has $65. Allison has $36 more than Tyler. How much money does Allison have? All right, let's start to write our number sentence or equation. Tyler has $65. Allison has $36 more than Tyler. All right, so we have 36 and it's more than what Tyler has, so I need to add my 36 to what Tyler has to end up with how much money does Allison have. I'm going to use the variable A to stand for how much Allison will have in total. Now, in order to solve this, I'm simply going to add my numbers together, but you might be asking yourself, what is the difference between problem type 3 and problem type 4? because the number sentence appear to be very similar. We're both missing information at the end. Up here, we were dealing with one person and his cards, Dante's cards. Dante has a certain amount of cards. He buys more, and now how many does he have? In this problem, we're dealing with two people, and we're kind of comparing them. We have to have one piece of information from one person in order to solve our final answer. So Tyler has $65, that's my first piece, but we're not really actually going to be talking about Tyler. We're really taking Allison and what she has, which is 36 more than Tyler, and then to find what a total of Allison is. So it's a little bit of a different problem because Allison's information is based off of Tyler's with the clue of more, $36 more. So to solve this, I'm going to use a tree diagram strategy all right, 65, I'm going to first decompose my numbers. And then I'm going to use the tree diagram to help me solve my pieces. 60 plus 30 is 90. 5 
5 plus 6 is 11, and 90 plus 11 is 101. So Allison has $101. These are our examples of all different four problem types in addition, how to write our number sentences to match our story problem, and some different examples of strategies in order to solve. Good luck solving your own problem types.